All right, what is up you guys? Welcome back to another banger Whisker Chan video and in today's video we are going to be going over reputation system. Now I have been caught up with a lot of things so this, pro this video is probably late but for everybody out there who has not watched, I mean has not watched, has not even like no doesn't know about the reputation system for those people that don't know where it is don't know what it does don't know how it works well guess what in today's video we got everything covered for you guys everything so before we get into this video though I just want to say if you are new to the channel go ahead and smash the subscribe button join the subscribers on the grind to 1k guys we are less than 30 subscribers away from hitting that goal once we hit that goal we're gonna be doing giveaways we're gonna be also doing um, probably my discord I'm gonna have my discord set up we're gonna be doing a lot like even with my brand and everything it's gonna be a lot that goes down once we hit 1k so you guys go ahead and join the subscribers on the grind to 1k and for all my OG's out there I love y'all thank y'all so much for the support right so uh, also drop a like down below you're gonna enjoy this content but anyway let's get into this video so Basically, guys, I've been caught up a lot. I didn't even pay attention to this because of what I've been doing. I've been grinding stuff for kicking. I've been literally just like grinding a little bit of story mode, which I'm going to stream the rest of story mode because I was requested to do so. So that's what we're going to do. But anyway, let's get on to this reputation system. So guys, what this is, is basically you do these reputations for this region and you get rewards. As you can see, there are eight levels and each level provides a reward, right? And... Um, as you can see right here below, it says you have a certain criteria you have to meet in reputation points in order to get past levels. And I'm pretty sure this just gets higher and higher, but basically, that's how that works. And then also we have this right here. You're probably saying, why well, is this locked? You can read. I mean, I'm not even going to lie. Reputation level 2. You have to get reputation level 2 in order to unlock this. I've already accepted all of these right here, but basically, you complete these. And you get all these points and these add up to here and then boom you go ahead and move on to level two so once we do this I'm pretty sure since we, we and then, like the good thing about this is not only are you gaining the reputation points that you need in order to proceed to the next level you are also gaining these coins which is really cool to me I only have 68% exploration uh, progress though so that sucks but anyways just claim this now monster reputation level has increased that is nice and now as you can see we have a reward we could claim and this is let's read detailed step-by-step -step instructions for making an animoculus resonance stone master them and you will be able to create a tool to guide you towards animoculi so guys as you can see we can now find the animoculus that usually you'd have to go to the map on the website to find all of them and then literally run to the exact location no you can now make these once you get the blueprint you can make these and make a an animoculi tracker literally so once you get this blueprint which all you have to do guys is literally level up through your uh reputation system boom that's easy easy search for monster mining outcrops with the help of wanger the blacksmith so that's cool right so i mean i would i'm gonna go i'm gonna show you some of these rewards because people, pro people probably don't know so a detailed step-by-step -step diagram for making the wind catcher, which if you don't know, you can create your own current with this. So this is the blueprint for that. Sorry for my dog that's barking in the background. He's a little spaz. Um, right here we have a name card style, which you can put on your profile. And this is also a adventure breakfast sandwich you can get. It's a recipe. And then we have right here, step-by-step -step guide for nutrition, ready to eat, meal in a pouch. And basically what this does is it just makes you eat your food. Once you're once your HP is at a certain level, usually you'd have to eat before 1.1. You'd have to go to your uh, bag and eat your food. Not anymore. Now your food automatically goes into your digestive system. <laughs> and you automatically eat your food once your H once it senses your HP is low. Okay? So then we have right here a detailed step-by-step -step diagram for making an, an animal um, treasure compass. This basically guides you to all the treasure, right? So th this is really cool. It has a cooldown as well. Keep that in mind. It has a cooldown. And then right here we have a step-by-step -step instructions for making portable waypoints. And this is where it really, really gets good because you can literally set one of your, like regular waypoints that you find around the map. Those are set to the map. You cannot change those. But this, once you make this, you can literally pick it up and put it anywhere you want. You can put your waypoint anywhere you want. Of course, you cannot put it inside domains and whatnot. <laughs> And then we have right here another name card style, which is pretty decent and cool. And then right here, the moon pie, which is another recipe. And finally, at level 8, some more wings that are for Monsta. These are gifted for Monsta. So those are rewards. And like I said, 
what you do is once you complete some of this right here and complete some of this right here you will unlock these right here which is the bounties which you get uh, as you can see the weekly progress out of three and then a weekly accepted quest out of three you do the bounties and requests and you can slowly level up your reputation system so as you can see we have these little things right here I'm actually pretty new to this so we're probably gonna have to do a little research and see exactly what's happening or we just press this question mark like a smart person blah blah, blah. bounty search and pursuit throughout the eyewitnesses report available to you each bounty uh one can guess the targets most likely location and type once you enter the, uh, its area of activity quickly activate your elemental site to find traces of it left to find blah, blah, blah. do the ley line okay so basically let's click this one for example and it's also giving us coins which is really cool so it's giving us a bounty reward which is 60 uh reputation points as well as 20,000 more a couple days ago just south of bright corn canyon across from the cathedral i noticed a massive healy churl stumping back and forth with a burning red axe in his hand if a city guard doesn't do something soon ordinary people like myself won't even be able to use this okay so let's get into how can you track your bounties and whatnot like that right also one more thing before we get all the way into uh these bounties all you only can do these three times a week and I'm pretty sure you can like do one of them like multiple times whether it's like for 60 or 80 so if that is the case you should always go for the hundred to get the most reputation points you can possibly get so don't go in order like 60 80 100 you should just do all 100 to get your maximum amount of points because you can only do these three times a week this applies to all cities by the way all right so basically I'm going to explain the rest when once we go on to this bounty I'm going to explain how you can find the bounties and whatnot so as you can see we get 30,000 more as well as 100 uh, reputation points which we're going to accept so let's go ahead and start this up start this bad boy up so we are tracking just south of bright crown canyon okay so we'll go back so as you can see once you go onto your map it will show you exactly where it is so as you can see bright bright uh, crown canyon is right here and so it was just south of it so this is south so we're going to teleport here and we're going to look this area. As you can see, once you spawn into the area, you get into the circle, you have a time limit. So let's actually hurry up. So what you want to do is you want to use your elements of sight and follow these blue, these blue lines. And all you have to do is follow these blue lines. And once you get to the desired location, you will slay your enemy and you will get your uh, reputation EXP as well as your coins. So let's go ahead and find this bad boy. Also, along the way, when you're finding them, you will find... Uh, lots of clues that you can that lead you to your enemy so also be wary that once you use elemental sight find the clues will uh, lead it by the blue little paths and then investigate them and boom you will find your enemy so let's go ahead and finish finding him though boom guys we found him we found the bad boy why fps my fps don't worry guys I'm, I'm actually in the progress of making a new pc i'm probably gonna make a video on making that new pc by the way because like why not you know so let's do this right here. Okay, guys, I ain't even gonna lie, that ruin guard beat my ass. But um, I don't want I didn't want to make this video that long. I was not ready for that. But one thing to also note, once you go against these quests, is they are not only are they very, very strong, okay? They're also um they also have certain things like this right here that you have to read. So you have the target intel of where the location it is, right? And you also have the target special traits. And you need to pay attention to these because I didn't I did not go into that fight knowing I didn't know he was invulnerable to cryo and invulnerable to pyro. If I would have known that, I would have never played the Luke. And yeah, my Luke has been de uh, terminated. Okay. So anyway, guys, basically make sure you read the target special traits and also read this right here. Additionally, the target has the following weakness. It tells you the weakness of the target. It, it's basically like when you go into a domain and it'll tell you uh your benefits your buffs or your debuffs like basically you go into this uh this domain you have less stamina uh you go into this domain if you play with a geo user you get 75 percent more attack boost so it's just like that it says right here the weakness of this ruin guard is actually taking greatly increased damage from sword wielding characters which i didn't know i was using the loot he's a uh, claymore using character so it wasn't good for that but basically what i'm just letting you guys know is this you have to pay attention to the weaknesses as well as the um as well as the strengths so you know what to go into the battle with because uh what i just did was not it so it's a good thing i actually found that out because most of you probably won't even read this most of you will probably just press accept bounty hopefully you guys read it though and now that you uh, watch this video hopefully you definitely read it it's definitely important and you need to know for sure so yeah i'll be doing this later i just literally leveled up my keking a little bit 
Uh, it's level 60 and whatnot. But so basically, yeah, each of them has a um, each of them has certain special traits to get uh, to them, and it also has their weakness as well. Increased uh, takes greatly increased cryo damage, as you can see. And this one right here says takes greatly increased damage from catalyst wielding characters. Each of them has something that they're very weak to. You play that and you will defeat them faster, easier, and get your EXP easier. But mainly you want to go for this right here, which is for the 100 reputation EXP and the 30,000 Mora. This right here is mainly what you want to go for. So for sure, make sure you read the invulnerability uh, tab as well as the weakness tab, okay? So that's really about it for that. And also we have requests, which I also want to talk about. All you have to do is really just help them out and talk to them. And literally get what they need and give it to them and it's basically like um it's sort of like you know when you do your commissions not the ones that you fight the ones where you talk to people this is basically that it's like you have three little tiny commissions in Mondstadt you do these you get 40 uh, reputation points from them each so that's 120 reputation points you'll be getting just from doing this so for sure these are easy the bounties are what you mainly want to focus on as, as well as uh, world exploration and Mondstadt quest to try to get your reputation maxed out as fast as possible to get these really really good blueprints that you will need in the future and actually right now as well because they're extremely useful especially for all my players out there that didn't want to look at that map and get all those animoculus you now have a mock uh, animoculus gps basically right and you also get these new links which are really really cool so leeway is basically the same thing has a little bit of different rewards but we're not going to go over that just letting you know you can check this out yourself I just showed you the area, I showed you the symbol, this is the symbol on the map that you will see. Also you have to be above AR25 in order to unlock this guys. So as you can see this is the symbol right here, let's zoom in. This is the symbol right here. This is basically where you're going to find your reputation, quests, uh, bounties, level, all of that. That's where you're going to find everything. So make sure to pay attention to that. And that's really how the repetition. I know you guys are looking at my Deluke and Mona like, damn, what happened? Yeah, that, that Ruin Guard destroyed me. Okay, but anyway, basically you want to pay attention to that as uh you want to pay attention to that as much as possible, the tabs, and also you want to pay attention to where this is on the map. And you also have to be AR25 or above to unlock reputations, and you have to complete a certain certain two quests for Liyue and Monsta. So you have to complete a certain quest for Liyue and a certain one for Monsta as well in order to unlock the reputation system so that you could get these amazing rewards and amazing blueprints for yourself. So that's really about it, for, uh, about it for this video. I just wanted to go over the reputation system, go over some of the main key factors about bounties, how to track down your bounties, easy, uh, the, the easiest way to track them down and whatnot and also all the information about it for all my players that don't have it or my players that do have reputation system and don't know how to use it yet or don't know where it is you all know now so I hope this video really helped all of you out I'm sorry I could not defeat that ruin guard guys I'll be back trust me my cat king is about to like I'm telling you guys my materials my materials are gone now I'm getting my cat king up there right now like I'm maxing around everything so, anyway guys, thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy this video, go ahead and smash the like button down below. If this video did help you, smash the like button down below. If you just love me, smash the like button down below. I love you too. And also, and also, join the subscribers on the grind to 1k by hitting the subscribe button down below. We are less than 30 subscribers away, guys. Thank y'all so much, and I appreciate it. Like I said, there's going to be a giveaway. There's going to be a lot of information I'm going to be saying once I hit 1k. So, for sure... Y'all just follow my Twitter that's in the description and you will get all the notifications about the giveaway and everything because we are doing a massive giveaway. So definitely follow my Twitter in the link of my description of this video down below so that you can enter in this giveaway once it is held after we hit 1k baby. So anyway without further ado guys thank you so much for watching this video and I hope this helped you out. I hope this helps everybody out and without further ado I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.